Yo, what up, what up? This is your boy, Doe King, and welcome to Doe King Divinity. This is a channel where we do intuitive messages, channel messages called Pula and all that. Good evening. Hope everyone's having a good evening. My evening's going fucking fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, if you work today, I hope you had a great day at work, bro. I hope you got that coin successfully. Um, kept that high vibration during your work hours, you feel me? Um, if you didn't work today, then I hope you got some inner child healing done. Got some rest, my nigga. Um, you know, healing is what it's all about, bro. Uh, making yourself laugh just you know bro whatever that is for you watch a movie bro play some type of game bro just connect to your inner child the things that you gravitated to is there you know what i mean um <clears throat> i ain't got too much to say though bro thank y'all so much for like sharing and subscribing join the team dope bro if these messages fucking resonate with you then please go ahead and hit that like button on this video um any other videos that resonate with you go ahead and check that bitch out bro it, it probably will <laughs> you'll get more messages all that shit um and subscribe if you haven't, straight up. Uh, yeah, bro. And shit and shit up. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Fuck that. Personals are open, by the way. And thank y'all to those who have, you know, gotten personals and who have been coming back, getting frequent personals and shit like that. Um, thank you for confirming my gifts and allowing me to help you out. So, yes, sir. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, man. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Archangels. Thank you, Regular Angels. Thank you, Spirit, God, for keeping the collective protected on the right path and just moving forward, period, bro. Keeping us in the right mindset, keeping just the clouds open, man. Thank you so much for everything, bro. We go through shit, but we get through shit, and that's just what it is. Thank you so much for keeping our minds clear and our visions, you know, um, clear as well. Fuck it. <laughs> um, and those that are battling with it, please send them that healing energy so they can get on the right path as well. Um, a lot of us are just trying to find out. Well, yeah, a lot of the collective is trying to find out what their actual purpose is so they can go ahead and do it. Um, so just, you know, ease up on them, you know what I mean? Give them a little clearer, more precise, you know, signs so they can go in the right direction. Amen, I should let's fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, bro. <clears throat> we finna slide into the bitch with that. Two, 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 let's hop and fucking to it, man. That's good, bro. We got the motherfucking, um, uh, <laughs> wisdom of the night terror with the fucking, you know, pool energies and shit. We got the manga deck. You already know what time it is, bro. And then we got my shit's the secret of uh, tarot to clarify. We finna slide right into this bitch, bro. Uh, before I start, though, bro, I don't even, I hope the read don't go this way, bro, but I had a premonition, bro, a vision. Um, It was a car accident, bro, and I was actually the person in the passenger seat, bro. Um, All I, all I really remember from the shit was, nigga, I was in the car, the shit was going fast. I don't know where it was, but if it was raining, I don't fucking know. That shit was tumbling, though, bro. I know that. Um, yeah, and I felt every fucking bit of that shit. Like, I was really, I was in somebody's body, though. It was it was weird. Like, it wasn't my body, and I know it wasn't. So, I'm um, just, y'all be careful out there, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like, I went through the whole fucking crash, bro. I got out the whip, whoever the fuck you are that I'm talking to, nigga. Um, if you had a vision or if you're feeling anything shaky about just anything like that bro then take this message bro um you're gonna be okay bro you're gonna get out that bitch but you will be fucked up i ain't gonna lie bro like i could barely walk when i got out the fucking car um but yeah um if you i don't know if you hear those sirens bro but if you go make it to the hospital bro you're gonna be all right bro just i don't know what to say to that bro if you can avoid that avoid that shit facts all right, we slide right into this bitch, though. We gonna find out what Spirit wants y'all to know this evening, man. <laughs> Spirit, how you doing? <clears throat> what do you want the collective to know this evening, man? Please give me a clear and precise message just for my collective. We have the high priestess of water in the reverse as the overall energy for this read. The way I'm seeing this off the rip, bro. I mean, someone got a four-year-old child in a situation, bro. Um, someone could... The number for you is significant a life path number or anything like that you could just you could, that could be your favorite number lucky number bro the month of april could be significant just take the shit as you want oh shit somebody might be i don't know bro I, i'm sending out good energy bro i hope whatever bro it is what it is though bro some people mm. it's funny because i ain't hear shit all day until i start this motherfucking read, bro. What's up, bro? Okay. 
dear one, <laughs> when my vampire high priestess of water visits you, it is to remind you that all things change, like the powerful elements she resents. I mean, represents. My bad, bro. <laughs> Water, water is a transforming element that flows in rivers, makes waves in the vast ocean, turns to hard, cold ice, and disperses as hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white, fluffy, white, fluffy, what the fuck? White, fluffy, am I saying, fluffy, nigga, clouds and rain, bro. <laughs> when you draw the symbol of water, it signifies a time when things in your life are changing shape right before your very eyes. Go with the flow as these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences, lessons, and gifts. Even if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later, bro. So somebody's having trouble uh, mastering their emotions, bro, in this situation. Um, whoever this is we're speaking about right now, um, they're definitely having trouble with changing and the changes that are happening in their life. They're not like having a good time flowing with the shit or whatever, bro. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's just pretty much that. If this is referring to anybody in my collective, because we're all on different parts of the journey, even like we're all on different parts of the fucking journey. Some of y'all just started, bro, and that's how I be knowing a lot of y'all ain't at a certain point. Just to be honest, bro, with how, anyways, yeah, bro. So yeah, this person's having trouble with the whole journey, bro. Bottom of the deck, King Cups energy. I clarify, this could definitely be a water sign, bro. And um, it's in, in the upright, bro, it seems like this person has feelings for you. They might be in love with you or some shit like that, bro. A wise, tolerant, um, patient individual, bro, diplomatic and shit like that. This is a compassionate person or whatever. Uh, they might want to um, balance some type of shit out or balance their life out for that matter, bro. But they're having trouble doing that, obviously, bro. What's good? Clarify that, please. Man, what's up? Not with all of these shits, bro. It has something to do with options, bro. Something to do with some options, bro. What's up, bro? Nigga, what in the hell? What's up? Clarify the um, high priestess of water in the reverse, please, bro. Please give me clear and precise messages, bro. This could also be somebody who's a. Uh, yeah, my ain't even finna go there. We just. <laughs> Y'all niggas know what time it is on this channel, bro. <laughs> Nigga, oh my fucking goodness. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. What the hell? We have the fucking Eight of Pentacles in reverse, bro. Oh, yeah, this motherfucker. So I'm going through it. Um, in the reverse, my nigga, the Eight of Pentacles is lack of passion, bro. This is someone that's uninspired, someone that's not motivated. This represents perfectionism, bro. Over critiquing yourself, losing sight of the big picture, telling you to balance your perspective, bro. And if it's having trouble, bro, this is changes in life. This is dark night of the soul energy for your ass. And a lot of y'all are still in the dark night of the soul, low key, bro. Y'all just learning how to live with that shit, bro. And you don't want to turn into one of these motherfuckers, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean, bro. Seriously, bro. This person ain't having trouble their actual like life though they're over critiquing themselves too much they're beating themselves up over some shit and they're probably talking down on themselves making themselves feel bad bro throwing themselves pity party but at the same time who the fuck can you pity to when you did it type shit bro that's the energy i'm honestly getting <laughs> why are they feeling this way spirit what's up bro why are they feeling this way Damn, they got no and then every time I be seeing that same fucking card every time, bro. <laughs> bro, this shit be fucking with me, my nigga. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. Every time, son. I'm weak as a bitch. We have the fucking four. Wait, yeah, four cups an hour. This represents um Ignoring positives, bro. Apathy, contemplation, feeling disconnected and going inward. Yeah, bro. But I already said that, though, bro. Like, this person is, like, on that I hate life shit. Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, though, like, we all know what that feel like. I mean, if you don't, then, I mean, good for you type shit, bro. I don't know what to say, but we all know what that feel like, bro. We make some bad decisions in life, and we beat ourselves up about it. And it gets to a point sometimes where it does start to stop your progress with your actual life, bro, because time does not stop for nobody, bro, all because you feeling some type of way, bro. Don't mean a goddamn thing, bro. 
Oh, I'm just keeping it a bean, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, shit, saying shit, but yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, y'all, but for some of y'all, like I said, bro, um, it's okay to post comments and shit like that. I just don't want no negative ass shit, such as some self-explanatory shit. If you resonate with the motherfucking message, it wonderful. Let me know that. That I, I appreciate that. But also to the fact where it's like, nigga, if you don't want the motherfucker, okay, bro. A lot of us don't. You get what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, nobody needs to hear a note. Da 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 da. To me, to me, honestly, that looks like you're trying to get some type of attention to where if the motherfucker was to come across that video, they would see your comment, and then like that. If that's what it looked like to me, I'm gonna keep it a bean, bro. I'm not saying that's what you're doing. Please don't get triggered by anything that I. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm just being real on that though. Yeah, you know I mean, um, it's okay with it, and that I mean, we're here to heal, bro. And a lot of us don't have people to talk to, bro, and shit like that, bro. So I completely understand, bro. I love when y'all go in and shit. That confirms to me that I'm this ain't no bullshit. You feel me, bro? But at the end of the day, I'm on some shit like we're just we're healing, though, bro. Like it's a difference between just it's a difference between being positive through the bullshit you were put through, bro, and then like you know, bro, being an asshole about it, like. That shit don't happen to a lot of people. Obviously, you're on this fucking channel or any other channel you go to. It happens to a lot of motherfuckers, bro. That's all I'm trying to say, dog. I'm not trying to come at nobody, bro. I love y'all niggas, bro. I just don't want y'all to get stuck in cycles because your ego gets built too much. Like, of course, you go through shit. It's traumatic for you, bro. But don't build up no fucking water where anytime somebody is saying some real shit that you just might need to take and you like, yo, bing. Like, all right, bitch, well, that's, that's what's up, bro. Guess what, bro? You gonna go through it next lifetime too, having to learn that same fucking lesson, bro. And it's not gonna be any easier in this lifetime. It might just be harder, bro. I'm just being completely honest. Where y'all think y'all healed enough to get a new person? Honestly, you're probably not, bro. But we're all here to heal. That's what I'm saying. I want everybody to get their person, so let's heal, so we can attract our people, bro. Facts. <laughs> Facts. When you ask the universe, I'm sorry to try not to read, but when you ask the universe for a new lover and shit like that, and then like you set your intentions on that, you're you know constantly thinking about whatever the case, bro. You'll get that, but they're gonna be on the level of you, whatever the case, bro. And if you're a deflecting ass person, bro, you might be interested in that person, and the universe will work that out exactly the way God will do that exactly for that reason, nigga. So you can get it through your head. Oh, maybe it's not. I mean, yeah, it might be those people. So fuck those people. Like, it's not about that, bro. It's about the lesson. So at the end of the day, like, maybe it's something I am doing, bro. You know what I mean? Just like the same way, bro. And it's the same way for the karma, bro, to be completely honest. Them people really be thinking that they have justifiable reasons for acting the way they doing, doing all the sick ass shit, bro. Facts, nigga. But as you can hear, sirens again, bro, it just, you know what I mean? It don't change the facts of the matter, bitch. You can still land yourself in jail, bitch. It don't matter that you are mad, so... You know what I mean? You take action on some stupid ass shit just because you feel some type of way. You need to make a statement, bitch. Sit your ass down sometimes, bro. And when it comes to other things, bro, sometimes you just got to look yourself in the mirror and not to check out your beautiful face, my beautiful women or handsome men. Not for that reason, bro. It's really to understand, like, yo, for everything that I have been through, I'm still kicking, I'm still standing, bro. I'm making moves for it in my own life. But if I really want a new person, a new partner, bro, I have to understand a lot of shit bro you're just gonna have to do that nobody is gonna come and it's gonna be a fairy tale a lot of y'all females bro because i don't nigga a lot of niggas bro already know that bro i'm talking about men bro we know that you know what i mean at the end of the day some men choose the path of well fuck it then like those are the karmic men they choose the path of well fuck it i'm not willing to put in the work and i, I have a fucked up mindset that the woman isn't going to do that from whatever past traumas they have been through that they haven't healed such and such bro and it just creates more of a cycle that they'll have to, it's just it's fucked up but it's true and the same way for the females on the other side bro but i ain't finna you know what i mean we'll have talks like that in the lives and shit like that bro but it is what it is bro they feel like um they're just ignoring the positives of it like they can't see what the divine still is giving them like yeah you know like breath and shit bro like clothes on their back food and shit now they ain't worried about none of that them niggas just and, and, and I mean, shit, bro. Sometimes I take that, bro. Because when you really truly realize, like, shit, I gotta make a move or my life just gonna get worse than this, nigga. What's worse than this? Oh, you'll find out if you keep fucking sitting there, dumbass. Not sorry. I'm sorry. 
But is it nigga, like what are you doing though? That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody wanna talk about this grown shit. Everybody wanna talk about, oh, I make moves for myself and I do all of this, bitch. What the fuck? Okay. You can talk it all day when the shit really hits your life. What is what what's really good, bro? It shows how codependent you truly are. It shows your true colors, bro. You not an alpha, nigga. And stop acting like you an alpha, nigga. For everybody out there that's fucking lying to themselves, bro. Like Michael let them know I'm not talking to them with that. Yeah, you know I mean, we here to grow and learn, but karmics, fucking everybody else, egotistical motherfuckers, bro. Your life will say exactly the same. It don't matter what it look like on the surface. You can make some money, whatever the case, but you still a dickhead. You still an asshole. We could talk about how I talk all damn day. I'm just being facts, bro. And at the end of the day, it's just showing you, yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> how easily words can trigger somebody, bro. How easily feelings could get hurt by the truth, nigga. Cause, yeah. I done had niggas, look, bro, I done had niggas. Y'all probably don't even be seeing comments like that because I be getting them shit the fuck out of here, bro. I don't have time. I ain't about to argue with you, bro. But I've had niggas literally come up here and try to, like, challenge my intellect on, on some shit, shit like that. Like, what the fuck, bro? Nigga, what? If anything, bro, I'm trying to build a better perspective for niggas out here, bro. You really are a karmic or you were sent or you just a bitch. You feel me, bro? You a hater. Like, it, one of the three. All right, guys. <laughs> They're just ignoring positives about life, though. So that's the overall energy, bro. And if you're in the energy of doing that, man, come on, bro. You need to heal. Yeah, if you need to get a terrible break for so a while, bro, do that shit, bro. It won't, it won't go nowhere, nigga. What, what do you think? The videos gonna leave, nigga. That's why you subscribe. That's why y'all niggas need to subscribe to the channel, bitch. <laughs> so if you do need to take a week off, at least you can just click on my channel and da 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 da. Right off your page, bro. Don't even gotta search my name, bro. Because I know a lot of y'all got me in your search bar. For what way you can motherfucking just subscribe, bro. <laughs> and hit the bell so you don't miss these damn reads, bro. Yeah, their life is fucking fragmented as fuck, bro. It is, bro. These niggas is fucking. And they want to communicate with you. But they're losing strength, bro. They Not even losing strength. They don't have strength, bro. They're feeling weak. Because they feel like it's too many differences, bro. And they don't feel protected by the most high, bro. They know you not motherfucking playing with them. But you're, they know you're a beautiful person, bro. And they see the beauty with things that they probably didn't see in the past when they rejected your cup, bro. So now they're having self-worth issues. But they're lusting after you, bro. And more so, probably even having visions and shit like that. But y'all probably have visions that y'all don't belong together, bro. And they feel like you don't love them, bro. Or you might even just feel that way, you feel me, bro? And they feel invisible to you, bro. Because they were disobedient to you. But now they're listening, nigga. <laughs> and not even in the fact that I feel like this is some spell work shit, bro. They weren't learning. They weren't learning the lessons, bro. They weren't being the individual. But I'm putting all of these cards back, bro. <laughs> I just wanted to get that out of the way for y'all. So we can get this motherfucker out of the way. Not trying to be insensitive, not trying to be mean, bro. But I mean. Whoever you are out there, cross watcher, if you come across this video and you know you're in this energy and all that shit, bro, you have to, I don't even, bro, like, you gotta meditate on your life, bro, understand why you are that way, my nigga, understand, like, you can't, I mean, you obviously are, I guess you're seeing it, bro, but you're being pessimistic, bro, your thinking pattern is gonna fuck your life up even more, son, um, you worried about too much, bro. Take it one day at a time, one step at a time, bro. Um, nigga, what was I about to say, bro? Man, fuck that shit. How about that? Um, next. Sorry about next, nigga. Hold on. Because all they're saying is they're just ignoring all the positives about their life and shit. I mean, let's ask why. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, let's ask why. And then we go get the motherfucker out of here, bro. Uh -huh. I mean, didn't I just literally do all of that, nigga? Fuck that. <laughs> I just did all of that. I just pulled all the cards out. I'm about to do it again. Is there anything else, Spirit? What's good, bro? Is there anything else? What else do you want the collective to know, bro? Love in the reverse, belonging in the reverse, bro. They feel like you, they feel like you feel like y'all don't belong together and you don't love them no more, bro. And I mean, it is what it is, bro. Like, it, it just is what it is. For some of y'all, y'all do still love the person or will I, 
I would say have love for the individual as in you don't wish no bad on the person. Why why would you? You know what I mean? It just is what it is, bro. Um someone else could be feeling this way as well though, bro. So we're gonna get into that shit, bro. Oh yeah, we're gonna get into that shit. It was no need to even use a secret to tell to go that deep into the other motherfucker, bro. Y'all know who this person is, bro. Um What's up, bro? Someone could be 41 in this situation, bro. Someone could have a 10-year-old child, bro. Someone's birthday could be in October, bro. Fucking book upside down. What the fuck? Bro? It says, my child, my wondrous one. It is time to celebrate because love is calling to you to open your heart and receive my blessings. Choosing this symbol is a powerful sign that love in all forms is in your life now. There is a responsibility to this also. You must give love freely without conditions and love others because your heart is open. There is something else here to consider. Love can be confusing. Love can be a confusing force too, I'm sorry. And can sometimes ask a sacrifice of you. If your heart is aching and feels like it's broken, know that love has no I mean has a greater love for you later. No matter where you are in life right now, love has come to guide you into an important experience. Trust in love. Yeah, bro. So I feel like this person either doesn't know what love is or they're finding it out. They didn't know in the past, whatever the case, bro. And it just goes more with that emotion shit or just, you know, letting shit flow in life and just going with the shit. Um, no, <laughs> that person feels like there's no love in their life, bro. They feel like they don't belong, bro. They, they feel like they feel like an alien, but they feel like, bro, they're waking up, bro. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, this is definitely a... What's up, bro? Four or five. We got a nine of, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, bro. Um, this could be another individual, bro. Or this could just be, you know, more of this motherfucker, bro. I have to sign a Y'all heard me ask for some else, but this person ain't your energy heavy, bro. So take this shit as you may, bro. Um, the sun and the spirit wants you to know within the greed, but you know, keep it fucking moving. Um, this could be a different energy, though. Just know that. That was a King of Cups energy, I, I'm pretty sure. Like I showed you at the bottom of the deck when we started. So take that shit as you may over there with that. Um, and this, look, bro, and I'm going to tell y'all niggas something right now. It's not a problem, bro. For some of y'all, like, bro, don't don't just take every read that you go to, all that shit, bro. If it hits you, like, you you got to know your body. So the signs that you get while you're watching the reads can cl clarify to you. You feel me? What's there, what's not, what's hitting, and what don't, you know what I mean? So you can really get your intuition up through that way, too. Like, because for some of y'all, bro, it's like that person, the other person, bro, can it just be... Bro, they could be a good person, bro. I'm going to keep it a bean for a lot of people watching this, bro. Y'all think that y'all are a part of this collective, bro. And y'all are actually this motherfucker over here. I'm going to keep it a bean. So. But I'm going to leave that there, bro. Yeah, now the pinnacles are not right, bro. <laughs> we got a reliable, hardworking, loyal individual, bro, with their attributes hidden by God, bro. This is efficiency responsibility, a helpful, dependable person, telling you to work diligently and pay attention to details. So yeah, that might be that, this person, but I'm about to ask who it is. Who is the spirit? What's up, bro? What's going on, spirit? Yeah, girl. <laughs> when the car's flipping shit, like, bro, I literally seen that bitch flip, bro. I'm, man, I'm not tripping, man. Okay, who is this, girl? What's up? We have a nine of pentacles and the upper, upper, a nine of cups, bro. Um, we came out sideways, bro. Um, so maybe they're struggling as far as like their emotions, bro. This person could be, let's see, bro.
the in the reverse, this is lacking in the joy, smugness and shit. So if I were to, you know what I mean? Lacking in the joy, smugness, bro. Um, dissatisfaction, telling you not to worry about the haters and shit. And I'll write this dissatisfaction, fulfillment, and all that shit, spiritual growth. Someone that's alone and not lonely, bro. This is emotional stability and your dreams coming true. Uh, so maybe, maybe it, this could be this energy to be the energy of someone in the collective too that, you know, y'all could be mirroring this individual over here or even that Knight of Coins that I'm speaking of. Um, but the way that I'm seeing, <clears throat> excuse me, the way that I'm seeing this shit is like, you may be focused on your spiritual growth at this time, bro, or someone might be that Knight of Coins, bro. Um, or even this person over here, bro, real shit, bro. Um, take the shit as you may, bro, but they see, you know, luxury with you. They see satisfaction, bro. They look at you as fulfillment emotionally. They see spiritual growth with you as well. They know what's good with you and all that shit, bro. Um, you're probably single, most likely shit like that, bro, but you know how to, like, you're cool being alone. You know the difference between being alone and lonely, bro. It's not the same fucking thing. You feel me? Um, yeah, but you're emotionally stable, bro, and they feel like dreams can come true with you. You know what I mean? Look at this motherfucker, so tranquil. You know what I mean? But yeah, bro, you got a lot of self worth. You got a lot of self love and shit like that. But whoever this is might feel the opposite. You know what I mean? That's probably why I came out sideways so I can touch on both bases and shit. So even if you feel like your love life isn't going that well, you feel like. Damn, there ain't nobody for me. What the fuck? Shit like that, because that's the energy I'm feeling. Um, now that I'm tapping in, but yeah. What's up, bro? Yeah, somebody got down possessive over you, bro. Whoever this is, bro. <laughs> they holding on to you in some type of way, bro. Take it as you may, bro. What's going on, spirit? Can you uh, give me more on this situation? What's going on? Ooh, child. We got justice in the reverse, bro. Libra energy out here right now, bro. Um, and then we got the eight of swords in the reverse as well. What's up, bro? Someone calls you an injustice, bro, or they're not taking accountability for a situation, bro. And you're not, a, like, I feel like you in this situation, you're not allusion to whatever injustice was called, caused to you. Um, let's see, bro. As I said, that shit is not taking accountability and shit. This is someone being dishonest, bro. Um, unfairness, a guilty conscience, bro. If somebody that wants to apologize to you, they feel guilty, bro. They feel bad. Um, in the reverse. Yeah, this is uh, self-acceptance, a new perspective. This is freedom, bro. Telling you you are your harshest critic. Telling you to think better, nigga. Have happy thoughts. Yeah, bro. This person, um, I feel like they were... I feel like someone um, was dishonest to you and they caused an injustice to you, but as of now, they're having a new type of perspective of you and shit like that, or whatever the fucking case, bro, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like I feel like you freed yourself from whatever injustice that was caused to you as well in the situation, bro. Take it as you may, bro, because it's different. It's different people in this shit, bro. I'm feeling almost, I'm feeling like three different energies. Um, one of them could definitely be a Libra and that doesn't have to be the romantic interest, bro, or have to be a Libra at all either, bro. I'm just saying. Um, let's fucking hop into it, bitch. Let's bring these out. Someone wants to come out the cold with you, bro. I feel like everybody in this fucking situation wants to come out the cold with you. Uh, what's good, though? Uh, clarifying justice. I mean, clarifying justice in the reverse. Okay. We got the four of wands in the reverse. They cause you to have an unhappy home, bro. They might have split up uh, some type of connection, bro, to be honest with you, bro. Um, yeah, they, they might have did that, bro. What's up? Four of Wands in reverse, that's beware dishonesty, bro. And that just clarifies that, bro. It's someone that's 
either dishonest or they were dishonest, nigga. And you're not blind to the fact that they were or the fact that they are. You feel me? This is life and support, bro. This is home conflicts and shit, bro. You call somebody to not support you and shit, bro. Clarify that. What's up, bro? Clarify the four of wands in reverse, please. Who's good? You got a knight of pentacles in reverse, bro. Yeah, the knight of pentacles for me, bro, in reverse is dark magic. Now, you know what time it is on the channel, but as I said before, bro, we're not even going to go there, bro. I feel like I'm going to keep it a whole big, bro. I'm going to keep it a stack, bro. Like I said, bro, the, the first card to come out was that high priestess of water in reverse, bro. So you got a water sign, nigga. Most likely for specific people, bro, it is a water sign. I ain't go flush, bro. And they probably work with a Libra, but we'll take the shit as you may, bro. Me going up to the top, bro. You might be feeling this way, bro. You might be feeling so-so about your little emotional love life shit like that. But don't fret, bro, because that's going to get better. These people want to come out of the code. They want to make amends, bro, but they're just being dishonest. It's just dishonesty all over this shit, bro. And they did some type of magic, bro. Like, the high priestess in the reverse is some dark, you know, a dark spiritualist type of energy to me, bro. And, yeah, bro. But take what I said from the other shit. I don't think that's necessarily that person, but it could be, bro. Um, take what hit you, bro. For real, bro. <laughs> But this is obstacles and delays and shit like that, though, bro. What's up? Um, this is a jealous, bro. Unreliable person, bro. Envious, lazy, bro. Obsessive, bro. This is work without reward, bro. This is feeling apathetic, though. Unmotivated. Um, telling you not to re not to neglect your responsibility. Telling you to regain your fucking momentum and shit like that, bro. Um, Another way that I'm seeing is, like I said, bro, for whatever romantic, like, whoever the fuck that motherfucker was or is, you know who it is, bro. That person caused, like, y'all connection and y'all home to be happy and shit like that, bro. Um, because they were, they might have been jealous of you when, you know what I mean? Who Take it as you fucking may, bro, but they were just lazy, bro. And, yeah, bro. <laughs> I feel like they just always had a mentality like that, like a lack mentality and shit like that, but you did. And they couldn't really fuck with that, bro. Um, but I feel like with this shit in the reverse, bro, you see this person for who they are, bro. Like you, or they freed themselves from, from you because they didn't have the right like type of perspective of you, bro. Some shit like that, bro. Um, this is also a message and shit like that. Message to share, bro, so they didn't hit you up, bro. You know what I mean? Shit like that, bro. About what was going on in their unhappy home, maybe. And this could definitely be like that specific thing could be for that Knight of um, Coins. Like, this is Knight of Pentacles in reverse, bro, but they were in the upright on, you know, when I did that. So this could be in the past with this person. Um, let's see, bro. Got a chair in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So, like I said, bro, and and some. All right, let me break it down, cause cause I'm getting like three or four different situations, bro. Like I'm telling you, bro, you got a dark high priestess, bro. Someone that does dark magic, bro. And this is a cancer, bro. This could be someone that may be, like I mean, you may know this person, you may not, bro. But it could be somebody that's in your family as well, bro. Because now I'm looking at this happy house and shit like that. Someone that you didn't really get along with in the home, maybe, but. I mean, it is what it is. Like, in this home situation, because that's how I'm seeing this now, you felt like these people didn't love you, or this person, these people, they, you know where I'm going with this shit, or whatever the case, bro. And motherfucking, you, you, you walked away, you know what I mean? It was what it was, and you still were content. Like, you might have not been okay with it at first. So you, for some of y'all, y'all might be in the energy of wanting to do this walking away shit now because you feel like you don't belong. Like, that's what I'm saying. And go ahead and do that, bro, because you're going to be in the upright as far as your luxury, all that shit. When you leave these people, bro, it's their poverty shit. It's their shit. It's their energies, bro. It's not yours. Um, and they caused you an injustice, bro. They could have did something in the legal system, bro. This could involve a car, but this could definitely be a fucking cancer that, you know, once they want to uh, make amends, but they... It's two deceit cards. It's telling you to watch out for some deceit, bro. So just in case this person wants to come hit you, whatever the case, boom, boom. But they're not hitting you up about some shit, bro. And it might be about a car if it resonates with y'all, bro. That's what I said, bro. This person wants to fucking reach out, bro. But they're feeling anxious and shit, nigga. 
This is someone from your past, bro. But they're, you're not reuniting with this person, bro. That's facts, nigga. That's facts, nigga. All right, let's put these cards back, though, because it is what it is, bro. Clarify the um, eight of fucking swords in reverse, please, girl. What's good, bro? Because I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep it right, bro. Yeah, bro. Six of cups in reverse, but you're not. Yeah, you freed yourself. I already said that, nigga. You freed yourself. There will be no reunions with that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Dead ass, nigga. Because you're already the Empress, bro. And I feel like this could be a mother figure to you, bro. This could be your mother, bro. I'm dead ass serious, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. You already, you already left this shit. And they probably did some illegal shit, bro, with just being in the reverse, bro. To fuck up your happy home, bro. Didn't hit you up about something, nigga. Didn't hit the Empress up about something, nigga. What, what was this message that they didn't send, bro? Now that I'm seeing that, what good, bro? We got the nine of pentacles in reverse, bro. But we, all right, what's up, bro? This is a big loss, bro. This is codependence, bro. Loss of money, bro. <laughs> Travel issues, reckless spending, bro. Living beyond means, bro. False successes, bro. Yeah, bro. They were living beyond their means in some type of situation, bro. Um, so take that shit as you may, bro. And they took some type of big loss. Did not hit you up about it now and they're experiencing some type of happy home. Um, most likely because they caused you some type of injustice. Be honest, bro. They worked together with some people, bro. Probably did a business collaboration or some shit like that, bro. Probably, bro. But if, it's, if, if it is, uh, I don't even want to talk about it. Let's get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was good. They collaborated, nigga. Oh no, this the what's the the three of cups, bro? So nah, this is like community and shit like that, I believe. Yes, there's a community, friends, happiness, joy and coming, blah 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 blah. They were overindulging, bro. Um with some type of shit, bro, but they bro I'm looking at this as like, bro, they collaborated with the community, bro, because I just pulled up the three of pentacles, bro. And it could be them. Um, collaborate without the three people, bro. This person name could start with an A or yours, nigga. Or it could be first, middle, last, bro. Initial, don't matter, bro. Fuck that. But yes, bro, they collaborated with three or more people, bro. For some type of money coming, bro. For some type of windfall of money, bro. And they're not hitting you up. <laughs> like, look, bro, these people did that shit. Like, oh, this person, bro, look, they can't. Bro, y'all know who it is now, nigga. They, bro, I'm, I don't want to just say where the read is going to go, bro, but I'm just telling you, bro, they did some shit, like, for some money, bro. And they were celebrating with your money, bro. That's what happened, nigga. And now they, and then they lost it. Or they overindulged it, and they don't got shit from it no more, bro. Or some shit like that, bro. Um, take it as you may, bro. But they lied to the legal system. That's how I'm looking at that, bro. That's deception and shit like that. About some type of home situation, bro. Probably said, I'm um, saying, bro, like they probably said that you was in the home with the motherfuckers, bro. I seen the Herman in reverse um, as I was pulling the motherfucking look, bro. Judgment in the reverse, bro. Yeah, they definitely lied in court or some shit, bro. Dumbass nigga, you an idiot. You a fucking idiot, bro. Yeah, this person's feeling fucking fucked up, bro. That's why they feeling this way, bro. Uh, like, take what I said about whatever romantic interest. I was feeling that, but then this motherfucker, Spirit wanted me to talk about this motherfucker, bro. And they lied about some type of home situation of you being whatever, bro. I don't, you know what I mean? Um, but yes, bro. Judgment in reverse, bro. But the Scorpio could be involved in this. Like, that's probably why, bro. Both of them could be water signs, bro. And they collaborated together. That could be one of these three or more people. Or, you know, two of the three or more people. Whatever the fuck, nigga. What, nigga? I don't give a fuck. Either way, bro. They, they lied in some type of legal situation, bro. I'm going to keep it a whole beam, bro. And now they're... Uh, that's funny as hell, bro. Yeah, bro. You could be a Scorpio. That person could be a Scorpio. It could be highly ass better than somebody chart, but it don't fucking matter, bro. Honestly, bro. That's funny as fuck, bro. Um, this is lack of self-awareness, doubt, self-loathing, and the criticism beating yourself up. Telling you to do what you can to fix it. Learn from your mistakes. Yeah, nah, bitch. Hell to the nah, bitch. Goddamn, they had like a self awareness and shit like that, bro. Um, it just, it just is what it is at the moment. Now they're um, having doubt and shit for their lives and shit, bro. 
um, they beating themselves up about it. And I said that at the start, bro, with that, bro. I already said that, though, bro. So it is what it is. Fuck these niggas, bro. Um, what's that? Yeah, bro, they're, they went against the grain with some shit, bro. And now their confidence is destroyed, bro. They're fighting a losing battle, and they feel overwhelmed from the situation, my nigga. I feel like that person, yeah, bro, that person, bro, sick as a motherfucker, bro. It is what it is, bro. But that's what's going on in the situation with that shit, bro. What's that? What's the outcome of this before we move on to something before I get the fuck out of here, bro? Like, goddamn, I did not want to, like, gosh, what's up, bro? Yeah, the page of coins in reverse again, nigga. But they had the knight and pinnacles in reverse, bro. We had the like that shit's crazy, bro. They didn't offer you something, bro. The outcome is <laughs> this represents lack of commitment, bro. This is greedy, laziness, plans going to riot, yeah, bro. The plan, the outcome of the plan isn't going to work, bro. Right now they're juggling, bro. Right now, they're just juggling, bro. Niggas want a new start, bro. Niggas acting like, like they're just, bro, they're acting like they love, bro. I'm gonna, uh, hold on, no. They just know, bro, just know, bro. They, the outcome of the plan is not gonna work, bro. Fuck all that. That's, that's what's gonna happen for that situation. Next. What the fuck, bro? You got somebody in the energy learning lessons, bro. This could definitely be the collective energy and shit like that. I mean, like the specific collective that's at this current moment going through shit like this, bro. It just be in the energy of learning your lessons and, you know, making shit out of life from those lessons and all of that, bro. What's up, bro? What's this talking about, spirit? Clarify the fledgling, please. Who is this talking about, spirit? Someone that wants to come out in the cold with you, bro. This person over here, we're gonna figure out who this is. This is actually one person who I guess wants to come out the code that you know what I mean, whatever the case, bro. And nah, but they're actually learning some shit. So we're gonna find out who this motherfucker is, bro. It's someone that didn't support you in the past or some shit like that, bro. Um it, I mean it might be that. Let me go ahead and read it before I just start talking and shit like that, bro. This is um damn, yeah, they maliciously gossiped on your name and shit. They're probably learning about that. I guess, nigga, what the fuck, nigga? Hold on real quick. Now that I'm seeing that, nigga. If I have a pinnacles in, re um, in reverse, it's changed for better, for happiness and success. Possible birth, recovery, charity. Yeah, they want to recover shit with you, bro. In turn, they look around. They just going through their shit, bro. Or they, they could be, look, bro. They could uh, not, so yeah, not supported you in the lovers connection, bro. You know what I mean? It just is what it is, bro. Uh, this is Gemini energy, so take the shit as you may, but that doesn't really matter. The way I'm seeing this is they might have gossiped on your soul connection, bro, this person. Um, I see that as well, bro. The two of wands. And the, oh, no, this is the two of cups, nigga. I, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Because I was looking at, like, you see the fire at the top. That's the only reason, nigga. But I seen the cups at first, bro. But that's what I was saying, bro. It's an imbalance in whatever connection this is that we're talking about. And you're currently out in the cold with this person. But um, this is a lover of yours, bro. Remember that this could be friends, family, anything like that. But this could, all, this could also be a romantic interest and shit like that. <clears throat> excuse me. Clarify. Excuse me. The lovers, bro. Clarify the lovers, please. What's going on, spirit? Matter of fact. Yeah, nah. I'm going to do it with this one. Clarify the lovers, spirit. What's going on? We got the six uh, fucking pinnacles in the upright, bro. Or the six of coins. Um, this is giving or receiving money, a pay raise of some sort, bro. This is obtaining resources, bro. Um, this is generosity sharing. Some of you to ask for help. Yeah, somebody might want to share some type of shit with you. I want to give you something, bro. It might be like a gift or something, bro, for, you know, not supporting the soul connection. Like, you know, not even not supporting it, but the imbalance that was brought by whatever they did. Like, they're out in the cold currently from you, whoever this person is, bro. It ain't, it can't, it, it ain't these people over here, bro. Um, 
But I'm gonna clarify that just to make sure, bro. So just know that, bro. Leave these motherfuckers over here. Do not confuse them with whoever this is, bro. Because a lot of y'all like to be biased to a whole bunch of people because y'all have a certain lesson to learn and you're just not, you're refusing to learn the fucking lesson. My nigga, it's just as simple as that. You're just refusing to learn the shit. But that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you're not divine or trying to be on that path, but you just have to learn it to get to the next fucking chapter, the next step or the next lesson. Or you can just sit there at that point in your soul's journey until you hit next lifetime, you go learn it again, bitch. I, just, I think I said that earlier too, to be completely real with y'all. But yeah, bro, this person might need some help. We about to clarify this shit, though. Clarify the six of um, Pinnacle, please, bro. What's up? Or they could, like I said, bro, they could. Oh, my gosh, bro. What's up with these motherfuckers, bro? Yeah, bro, it might be this person, bro. It might be that motherfucker at the top, bro. This, I think this is overall read might just be about this person and shit like that. But yeah, bro, it's a person that at the moment... Matter of fact, I'm sorry for putting that energy on it. It might not even be that. I'm going to keep it a being. because this is somebody who you got to, like, I got to remember, like, everybody don't think like me. Everybody don't move like me. That's what I got to remember, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, nah, this person might be coming to help you out or they might need some type of help. Like, but it's the simple fact that they're on the code with you and they, um, like, this person, I guess they love you or they, you know, feel for you and shit like that. And they want to work on something. We'll see, though. Hold on. Yeah. They might feel like they can't travel towards you at the moment, bro, but they want to reach out to you. That's how I'm, I'm just going to keep it there, bro. Fuck all that. <laughs> Fuck all that, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, that is the truth for this other motherfucker, too, to be completely real. Like, this cancer energy, bro, they could be a cancer to your motherfucking life, bro, to keep it a being, bro. And I already, then I pulled, I pulled it like this, I think, bro, when I was pulling the cards, but I might not have, so whatever, nigga, but regardless, nigga. This is hope reaching out, despair, fear, creating distraction, anxiety, taking no more and shit like that, bro. Say it like that, bro. This is, nigga, what? Come on, bro. Uh, then we got the page of pentacles and the upright at the bottom. So this could definitely be someone, like I said, they, they have an offer for you, bro. Oh, Lord, bro. <laughs> but it's going to be a bullshit-ass offer, bro. This is that motherfucker, bro, and that's so sad, bro. It's really so sad, bro. It's really so sad, bro. But nah, at the end of the day, no, I feel like this, speaking of that, bro, like take what I just said about that. Like, I don't want y'all to be confused, bro. Someone's experiencing some type of misfortune, bro. Like they just went through a difficult ending. And what I'm trying to say to y'all is, bro, take this, don't like, I'm sorry to keep saying that, but I have to relay what I'm getting as I pull these cards for that shit too, bro. So y'all know that this motherfucker's full of shit. Like both of them, that Scorpio energy and that motherfucking cancer energy, bro. Not saying that those are the signs of those people, bro, but take it as you may, those people are bullshit. And both of these, like they go send this motherfucker. Oh, we already said that, bro. This person feeling despair and shit like that, but they looking at you, they see you bossed up, whatever the case, bro. This, you know, the old nigga, the old flame, the old person, nigga. Yeah, bro, they gonna hit you up, nigga. And it's going to be a little bit of something, bro. They're going to act like they want to work with you, but that's not the truth, bro. They're going to be telling you that they misjudged the soul connection. I'm sorry, but they knew the whole fucking time, and you know that shit. You know that shit. Whatever, nigga. If you the true high priestess, everybody want to say that shit. Come on, dog. Fuck that. Yeah, nigga. So that's that, nigga. Then you got this bitch-ass mother figure, bro. And I think I clarified that when the empress came out, whatever the case. Not saying that that's a real empress, nigga. But it was clarifying that mother figure shit bro yeah this motherfucker that did some sick ass shit was was parlaying with some shit that was most likely yours bro and now they want to give you a little offer but it's a lying offer bro it probably won't be all your shit whatever the case but this new person this earth sign energy capricorn to a virgo energy that may be this new lover bro they're getting out of a like divorce and shit we already got that out of the way bro that's what i'm, I'm literally just trying to be real with y'all and keep it really broad because a lot of y'all bro like all these people don't think the same like the people in your situation or my situation or someone else's situation that they're not all going to be the same bro like facts bro just take what hit you bro i can't stress that enough because some of y'all be going in <laughs> and i'll be saying like damn bro even the way that you're talking it's not your situation bro because i didn't even mean it in that way like you gotta be tap i mean it is what it is but yes, um, I feel like, yeah, they're going through the difficult ending, bro, and they're, like, stressed down and shit like that at the moment, bro, because they did, like, they didn't, like, fuck with you at first. Like, you remember, we already talked about that, bro, but this is your two of cups, bro. It is, bro. This is your new beginning, bro. The Ten of Swords in reverse, bro. This is your new beginning, bro. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. 
I felt the energy from the start. This person that's learning the lessons on this side, bro, is the new person, bro. And they are learning their lessons now, but they're going through the dark night of the soul. And so are these motherfuckers, bro. Because the poor, like, bro, these niggas be thinking this shit's a game, bro. Facts, nigga. Facts, nigga. You got a queen of swords in reverse out this bitch, bro. But that's what I was saying, bro. That Libra energy could be a queen of swords in reverse. I don't take the shit as you made, bro. You got this motherfucker that's gonna try to come and give you some shit, bro. This could be that aunt energy that I was picking up on, bro. Take it as you may, bro. Like, if it's people in your family, that could be your aunt and your mother working together. But they work with three or more people. Could be six or more people, bro. Could be nine, bro. It don't matter, bro. You know what you went through, bro. You know what motherfuckers was doing, bro. This is a speedy news, a speedy situation coming, bro. Arrows of love, nigga. Yeah, bro, they about to try some sick ass shit, bro. It is what it is. They gonna try to give you this offer and shit, so beware of anybody that, like, y'all see me doing this on this side, fuck them. But on this side, bro, you got somebody that's about to shoot you this arrow love. They want this new beginning with you, bro. And these people are trying to, like, bro, because it's 50 minutes into the shit, bro. Like, no, these motherfuckers, they about to send somebody to you, bro. This is a false motherfucker, an evil motherfucker as well. This probably... I ain't even go go to the spell work part of this damn read, bro. Fuck all of that. But at the end of the day, these people are going to try to send a low vibrational air sign, maybe, bro. But it, it, they're going to send somebody to you to try to give you an offer, bro. As this motherfucker's coming in, bro. And like I said, bro, it could be that old interest that they're going to send back to give you an offer, bro. And if you fall for that, then I'm sorry to say that, bro. For my collective, though, for the people who really resonate, I'm not trying to send nobody on no fucking goose chase or no dark path, no none of that. Or on the wrong way, bro this family friend like shit like that bro they bro the family that took the shit from you whatever they stole from you whatever they took from you bro they about to send somebody to bring you some of it or a piece of it bro whatever the case may be bro don't t don't take it bro nigga nigga i wouldn't even respond bro because they know look bro they trying to attract you bro they trying to attach you to the devil bro no bullshit bro they trying to have a devilish attachment bro they gonna tempt you. There's gonna be a tempted offer coming towards you from these motherfuckers over here. Anybody from your past, not the new motherfucker. Do not. I mean, I'm not telling you how to live your life, bro. If you don't want the new motherfucker either, then cool, bro. But I mean, for this collective, the energy gonna keep coming out about this new motherfucker. So I would just say, be aware, bro. You know what I mean? Don't be an asshole about it. Be aware. <laughs> like that's just it, bro. But for these motherfuckers, you could be here however you want. Fuck these demonic people, bro. That's. You could be a, you could be like that to a devilish motherfucker, bro. You could be mean. Fuck them niggas. August second could be some every game. We got February eighth. What's going on, bro? <laughs> we got uh, July 9th, bro. We got September seventh, my nigga. We had May fucking sixteenth. We have June fifteenth, my nigga. What's going on out here? You feel me, bro? Two thousand and three could be significant towards any of this situation. Two thousand six could be significant, bro. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Yeah, bro. That's what I'm seeing right now. Somebody could be 28 in this situation, my nigga. Somebody got a 15 year old, bro. 10 year old, bro. What's going on, dog? <laughs> Somebody nigga start with a P in this situation with your bitch ass. Not, not in my collective, bro. What I'm saying. Uh, next, let's go. So we have the page of wands. Um, somebody can't travel towards you, or they feel like they can't travel towards you, bro. Um, but they do want to shoot these arrows of love, bro. That's that's facts, bro. Um. You got money improvements coming your way and shit. And just just for that general case, like I feel like Spirit is telling me to let y'all know that these people can't travel towards you, bro. They can't travel towards you, bro. You already broke yourself free and we got that out the way at the top, bro. You are not you are not bonded to these people, not connected to these people, bro. And if you still are, because we already spoke on all of that, bro. Any attachment you got to any of these people, bro. Text, message, call, anything like that, bro. Taking money from motherfuckers, giving money, that is a core, bro. And these people are the type of nigga that try to, you know what I mean, with like unspoken unspoken shit like yeah uh i gave you some shit so that means you have to like bitch what the fuck we ain't sit down and discuss a goddamn thing bro if you if you're being generous then be generous bro you know what i mean but you ain't gotta go that far with these motherfuckers you know how these people are you know they are foo foo get them out of here bro goddamn yeah bro i feel like this person though is also hold on let me i got you bro this is long-term stability though so this person wants to build long-term stability with you bro but they feel like they can't travel towards you um, look, these people are going to try to send you an important letter, but it's not important, bro. These people over here, bro, to come out the code with you, bro. Dead ass, bro. Look, bro. False ass nigga. They could be sending the tours, bro. A Capricorn. It doesn't fucking matter, bro. But they lied to the government, bro. System and shit like that. And for this person, they already said that, though, bro. They can't travel to us right now because they are going through this divorce, bro. 
and they're getting out of this marriage, bro. That's what's going on, bro. And after that, they're gonna be able to travel towards you, bro. I feel like they're just honoring, like they have, they have morals too, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody has different strokes, bro. If you were going through the legal shit and you're like, shit, as a person, I don't want to just put myself out there. And da 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 like you gotta understand it about somebody else. Like if you don't want to wait for the motherfucker to get out the divorce, bro, good for you, bro. Especially if the motherfucker ain't saying nothing to you, bro. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, bro. It is what the fuck it is, bro. If you're not feeling that connection to this motherfucker that strong, then do what you do, bro. Ain't nobody judging your ass. To be honest, nobody really cares because we're worried about our love lives and shit like that. To be completely real, bro. And a lot of y'all need to just stop telling people about what's going on in your relationships, like dumbasses, nigga. You always need some advice from somebody on how to fucking move in your relationship. That's why them shits go sideways, dumbasses. Just being real, that's some dumb shit to do. The fuck? That's stupid. Unless it's like some beating on you type shit and shit, of course. Tell tell somebody, bro, but fuck. Yeah, they're, they're dissatisfied with the dark magic that they did. Facts. These niggas. But this person feel like they rejected your offer as we... I mean, that person, like both of these people, we already got it out of the way, bro. You know? They weren't looking at what was going on with the divine. As I said before, bro, these people be marrying each other. But this person over here is working on themselves. They're working on shit. Remember these motherfuckers, they're in despair. They're fucked up. They're not working on shit at all. In fact, these people were just working on magic. That's why they're just sitting there, nigga. Oh, that shit backfired, bro. That's two times right here, bro. Like, all right, now I can, now I can just say it because I'm waiting for the card to clarify, bro. Just be real, bro. Just be real, bro. They know that you got options, but they were doing magic, so you didn't have options, bro, to keep it a whole beam, bro. All the glitter does not go, and I feel like Spirit is telling y'all niggas, watch out for anybody over here, bro, to go try to get you, bro. Look, dark spiritualist, bro. My, look, King of Wands in reverse, bro. Fucking idiots, bro. That dumbass fucking old love that is keep trying to manifest you in the wrong way, bro, and at the end of the day, it's never going to fucking hit. That shit is dead, bro. Look, these are ops, bro. You got a dark eye priestess that could be an Aries Leo Sag that's an op to you, bro. That want to cause a death to what you're working on and shit like that, or to your work period, bro. Um, if y'all had any like bullshit happen at your like nine to five for those who work a nine to five and shit like that, then you know just know it was attributed to this motherfucker, bro. But it's nothing to be scared about. You got strength through the situation, bro. Leo energy, you could be a Leo. It don't fucking matter. These people are fucking dead to you, and they should be, bro. Fuck you, mean, bro. But they're spying on you and shit. And that's facts, bro. But no, for this other for this other person, they're working on themselves, bro. And they're uh, weighing out options in their life. Not to say that they're putting you as an option for their life. And they're, even if they were, fuck it. it don't matter. Like, I don't, whatever, nigga. This person wants to come towards you. That's why they're in your energy. So I don't even want to say it like that. No, they're not going for other options. They see you. They know that all the glitch is not gold. They're trying to get money improvements in their life and they're looking beyond the clouds so that they can come to you with an offer because they took big losses from that fucking marriage, bro. Honestly, bro. They put that death to that situation. This is death to new beginnings, bro. Endings to new beginnings. <laughs> My fault, bro. But yeah, bro, they are going through conflict probably with that spouse, probably with other people, bro. You know, people might not be feeling the fact that they're getting but with their fucking, with their wife. False ass wife, bro. Could have been this mothering ass bitch, bro. Facts, nigga. And this person could be watching you or just keeping a close eye on them. And that's why they can't travel towards you right now, bro. Facts, bro. But it, both of them are watching you as far as just new interests and um, all these people, I guess, bro. It's okay, though. And uh, Boo Boo, if you're watching this, then what's good? How you doing? Like, straight up, bro. Uh, what's good, though? Yeah, bro. These people can't travel to common waters with you and shit. And they're not traveling to common waters with that white figure, this new person, bro. They're not. They're not. These people are getting bad karma. And this person is not traveling towards you with the truth either, bro. They took some impulsive action, bro. Because they were jealous of you, bro. Facts, nigga. They took some type of impulsive action for some type of short-term affair to be real. But you know that already. You know that already, bro. Maybe not even just a short-term affair, bro. I feel like they're disappointed over not getting what they want. They're resentful, bro. They're jealous, bro. About everything that you got coming towards you, bro, because you freed yourself from these motherfuckers, bro. Impulsively in that matter, nigga. Or they impulsively flee, uh, impulsively free themselves from you to go fuck and have short term affairs and shit. This old person, bro. <laughs> but there are no illusions to that, bro. This person's in fear. These people are in fear and shit like that, bro. It is what it is, bro. 
I'm daring to hang that, bro. We already got that though. Experience and setbacks. And so so is this other person. I'm feeling that energy, bro, but it's okay though. You feel me? Because they probably used to work with that person. Like this new interest, bro. You can't really touch them, bro. It's not it's not a big deal, bro. If they were husband and wife, don't you want to work with your husband and wife? Don't you want to build an empire? That's what this person tried to do. And it was the wrong person. Just like you tried to do, motherfucker. And it was the wrong person, bro. Give a nigga a break, nigga. Give a bitch a break, nigga. God damn, like, bro, for real though, bro. This shit ain't like that's so that's so like um what do I say apathetic nigga that's so fucking like that's not sympathy bro that's not empathy everybody wanna claim empath but you don't if you can't feel a motherfucking pain on some shit not saying that you gotta deal with them bro everybody got different strokes for different folks I'm gonna get the fuck out of here though but look bro yeah so that was that bro and I feel like after they get out of this situation and get out this setback they're gonna work with you y'all are working together bro they're gonna come to you they're innocent bro this person is innocent bro Facts, bro. They are, bro. After this tower, after the tower, bro, they're gonna walk away, bro. Because the, their marriage is a disaster, bro. You know what I mean? Straight like that, bro. And like I said, bro, they're probably gonna take losses, bro. But they are stable. This is your emperor, bro. This is your new person. Or, you know, take it as you may, male or female, my nigga. <laughs> this is your person, bro. This is the actual fucking flame, the real person, bro. I already said that in the last video, though, bro. Like, if you go back to the other videos, this shit over here, bro, kind of resonates with what the fuck I was saying back then. If I ever can't, like, when I would talk about, when I was, like, I was picking up on this motherfucker before, like, I even met this person in my life type shit, bro, to be real, bro. That shit funny as hell, bro. Um, yeah, bro. You're not blinded to that. You know who this person is. Or just the simple fact that they know who you are, bro. And they see happiness with you, bro. They want to marry you. <laughs> they want to come marry your ass, bro. But you got that letter coming to them, Victory News. But they probably want to have a child with you. Facts, though. And you got the letter of Victory News coming to you as well, period, bro. From this injustice, legal, and, you know, and the legal system shit, bro. Facts, bro. And this person, like, these niggas could be sick, bro. All that funny ass shit, bro. Come on, God. You're gonna get an emotional offer coming from this person, bro. After this heartbreak, bro. From their broken family situation, bro. Facts, nigga, and they're coming to you. And that's that, bro. That's how I'm seeing this. One more message, bro. I really wanted to. Spirit wants me to tell y'all niggas, bro. Oh, excuse me. To remind y'all niggas, as a matter of fact, to remind y'all to keep meditating, bro. And shit like that, bro. Don't forget about the deceit that this person, that these people are, bro. Facts, it don't matter how it come back. Look, more assignments, bro. They're going to jail for stealing from you, bro. Don't let these people come back and lie to you. That's literally the facts. That's literally it, my nigga. Don't let these people lie. Keep meditating on the shit, bro. You will get your fucking, like, dead ass, bro. These people are not loyal, bro. They're not. They go. They're rigid, bro. Wish it, wash it. Back and forth, nigga. Don't know if they love you or hate you, bro. Ain't that some shit, bro? <laughs> nigga, don't talk to these people, bro. Don't talk to these people. Don't move towards these people, bro. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. It ain't no complicated situation, nigga. It ain't. <laughs> but it's your choice, though. You make your own moves, my nigga. And that's what Spirit's telling you. You got free will, bro. So when y'all niggas, if you want to risk that shit, if you want to risk that shit, bro, take like take it as you made. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. Facts, nigga. Like, not even that. Like, spirit is coming with the card. Like, it ain't complicated, nigga. You got the choice, though. Free will, bro. So when you made that risk, and if you do go back to this old motherfucker who, you know what I mean, whatever, bro, or dealing with any of these people, bro, because they might give you some choices or an option that might be, it's going to be risky, bro, whatever the case, bro. It is what it is. But for another shit, your life is just not complicated, bro. You got choices in your life that you know about already, bro, that you'll be able to accomplish, bro. Someone could be 46, someone could be 31, have an 11-year-old child, bro. Someone could be 45 or 54. We got 64 out here, bro. 13-year-old child, but it doesn't really matter, bro. Um, as far as your life, bro, just speaking on that, bro, don't travel towards the people. This person, that old interest, they, I mean, it's not going to be, bro. They're going to send you a false-ass message, bro, and shit like that, bro. But anyways, yeah, bro, with the choices in your life, though, should get off that. The choices in your life, the shit that you're doing, bro, just trust your intuition, bro. It'll be okay. I feel like that's what this moon is representing in the back of here as well with the, with 
this card, bro. If this is an angel, you got the angel and double wings. That's what I'm saying, bro. You can choose this new shit, which is gonna be an angelic motherfucking connection. It's gonna be okay, bro. But the lessons that you learn, you're gonna help this person become the like not even the person you tried to make this person be. Don't not like that, bro. But I, you y'all know what I mean, though, bro. What you your intentions were with the, that motherfucker, bro. This person is coming with the same exact intentions, bro. They just have some healing to do, and if you're willing to help this person heal when they come towards you, then that's awesome, bro. <laughs> it will be a success, bro. Get all this damn passion and shit, bro. You feel me? They gotta take care of themselves better, bro. Facts, bro. That's facts, bro. That's honesty, bro. My spirit from me to you, bro. That's dead ass, bro. Y'all gotta take care of yourself, and that's the truth too, bro. It's all a thing, bro. Don't be in denial about it, bro. Don't be in no type of denial, bro. Everybody go through cycles, bro. Everybody does, bro. Y'all looking for a healed ass, good ass motherfucker, but what the fuck is you on? Everyone has to heal, bro. And y'all can heal each other, bro. Because y'all both know who you are, bro. And especially you, yourself, bro. You know who the fuck you are, bro. And you're an understanding person, bro. And this other person sees you as an individual. Like this new person, they see you as an individual. They see you for who you are and shit like that. Even if y'all haven't known each other for a minute, bro, you probably don't even know this person is like that page of swords, but the person is probably spying on you. They're probably watching you. Not in a bad way, but I'm just saying, bro. A soul connection is a soul connection, but you're just at a higher level than this person. To be completely honest, if you move forward from this person too, you know, you're just doing your thing though. It ain't no, no bad shit like fuck that motherfucker forever, no shit like that, but you you try to do it bro either they told you or they didn't tell you that they were married or just the simple fact that even if they told you they were getting out of a marriage bro they just didn't disclose the fact that they weren't completely like ready to you know deal with somebody else on some type of level but they probably proposed the, the friend thing and all that shit bro and for, you know what i mean it is it is what it is bro you could have seen a red bird um you know lately bro be real you have a cat, that person can have a cat. Um, anyways, nigga, yeah, bro. This person is wishing for you, bro. No bullshit. This person is wishing for you. They they want something with you, bro. And it, to me, that's also like whatever you're wishing for, it, it's, it's going to come true, bro. You already know what's going on. Your intuition is on A1, bro. Facts, bro. Y'all know what's up, both of y'all, bro. Visions, bro. You probably done had these visions, but all these moons keep coming out, bro. I probably think this person probably <laughs> thinks about you <clears throat> and in a sexual way they probably be having visions about what the sex would be like if y'all haven't fucked already and it'll be y'all bro it's gonna be some good shit bro y'all y'all straight bro no bullshit bro <laughs> no bullshit bro you just had a problem with their self-worth bro no bullshit but they see you as beautiful as fuck bro remember from the last read that other person they and like they started losing their attraction to you because you wasn't giving them the cootie cat no more or whatever the case the wand or whatever but this person sees you like that without all of that whether y'all have had sex or not they already see you as a fucking rose or a flower bro Facts, nigga. and they know that you don't play though you know what i mean you don't play around bro and that's great bro y'all are most likely different bro y'all are most likely different they had a problem as far as like feeling protected and i feel like they just what was going on in their life bro was causing them to lose a lot of strength and shit like that you feel what i'm saying bro like they had to let that shit flow but their life was too fragmented and they were too you know what i mean but i feel like now they're listening to spirit and shit like that they may feel invisible to you know people or whatever the case, but that's how, you know, a lot of people rock that way and that's not an issue or no shit like that. They weren't being obedient to spirit and they won't let go of this marriage situation, bro. And this is before they met you and all that shit, so get out your fucking, get out, get out of that ego shit. Yeah, I mean, this person just has a lot to learn. They had a lot to learn, bro. They weren't obeying and they weren't letting go of their situation, bro, with that person because they probably grew up in a fucking like toxic little mindset of you know their parents staying together even though that was toxic probably got friends and family i think i already said that they probably encouraged them to stay with that person and all that shit bro yeah you know i mean all that shit bro but they met you regardless bro 
first and didn't have confidence and shit at first, bro. But this connection isn't forbidden at all, bro. And just like with this car, bro, after this person's chaos, bro, if you feel like your life is chaotic, bro, you gotta keep it pushing, bro. After this, y'all will be all right, bro. This person was, was feeling trapped, bro. So they couldn't really focus, bro. But you know, but you know the best, like, it's just always gonna be good, bro, because spirit always steps in, bro. Spirit will always step in, bro. This person probably is intuitive. It's like, bro, if they're if they're the real twin, bro, yeah, but they got they know what's up, bro. Y'all probably might have discussed some shit like that when y'all did talk, bro. But this is the new chapter for you, bro. That's what I'm saying. That that's how this shit going. Y'all gonna be good because spirit got this shit, bro. There's hope for that, bro. <laughs> Nigga, there's hope for that fulfillment. It will be fulfillment in this situation. No bullshit. And can't no magic touch this shit. Can't no magic touch it, nigga. That's facts, bro. Then we got Oath in the reverse, bro. Which the way that I'm seeing that, just to start all of that, bro, is this little motherfucker's binding shit. This old motherfucker that binding shit, they try to bind themselves to you so that you couldn't meet this new motherfucker. None of that, bro. That shit does not work. No magic is going to work on this connection, bro, because this is the real one. Like I said before, bro, it'll it'll be fine, but it won't prosper. It prospered over that motherfucker, bro. That old person, bro. Facts, nigga. This person is fighting some shit, bro. And this pro it's probably been happening to this person this entire time, bro. And niggas ain't even know that it was this person because you hadn't met him and shit. You thought it was this motherfucker, bro. And I can't wait for readers to start really getting that and understanding that, bro. I'm telling you, it's going to happen, bro. With my plan, like, bro, I was pulling, bro. I'm to... Anyways, guys, I don't know. Fuck that, bro. I don't spend too much time on this bitch low-key, bro. That's been y'all niggas read, bro. Um, If you resonated with any part of this message, bro, go ahead and hit the like button. My nigga, subscribe if you have not. We dope as fuck over here, my nigga. Um, shit, bro, what it looks like to me is your old interest is, of course, still combining with your family to take you the fuck out or just to, for that windfall of money shit. Or they might have already got some shit. Who knows? But they lied to the justice system. We already got that shit out of the way, bro. They collaborated and lied to the justice system. Your bitch-ass mother, whoever that is for the family situation, bro, you are not fucking with none of them. And they all collaborated together, bro. You got a few motherfuckers that popped out, like, as far as, like, um, uh, it's a fire sign for sure, bro. We did have Leo energy. I mean, we got all the energies out here, bro, to be honest with you. So, fuck that. But, yes, bro, if you could take that shit as you may. If you need to rewind, go fucking rewind, bro. But that cancer energy, that mother figure energy, whatever the fuck, bro. Yeah, bro, that's the main culprit, whatever the case, bro. If you end up with a lot of people in your family, your community, shit like that, bro, to get this shit done, to leave you on the car, how you fucked up their op, they betrayed you. It is what it is, bro, but they're going to jail for the shit that they did, bro. They're going to try to hit you up and give you some type of offer, whether that's giving you your shit, just know it won't be all of it, straight like that, or they're going to try to give you an offer just to reel you back in, bro, then they go throw shit out of here, bro, real nigga shit, bro. Another thing that they got sitting here planned is sending this bitch ass nigga in. That motherfucker, even if they're not working with your family, no, they're working with their person, that karmic, their karmic, bro, they're, they're getting controlled like a puppet, nigga, no bullshit. That person gonna try to come in and fuck you up too, that person can have an STD. Next, nigga, we got this motherfucker over here, but this new person is, this person is getting out of their divorce, bro, already. I covered that, I clarified it, everything, bro, y'all seen it, bro, this person is going through losses because of that, and plus they're getting magic down on them just like you are, bro. Uh, or if it's not that deep, sorry for even putting the energy out there, bro. For a lot of y'all, it's not that deep, but yes, bro. They're going through their shit and they're just waiting. They got to build themselves up a little bit. Right now, they're getting the confidence to come to you with this offer, bro. But they have to get through all of this shit, bro. Like, why would you want a motherfucker to, like, not even, like, come to you and shit. I'm pretty sure you want, like, conversation. You want to talk, da, 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 da. But I just feel like this person is literally considering the fact that their mood and shit might be a little off like they don't want to fuck it up any further than what they had you feel what i'm saying bro you all you only know what you went through with this person so far like that's all i'm trying to say bro but yeah bro if you really like this could be a great a great new start for you bro if you choose to have it bro even for y'all who are still being egotistical that don't mean god don't love you you feel me that don't mean i don't love you bro i love all of y'all bro it's just I want y'all to get the person, though. Stop being so fucking selfish. Stop being so egotistical. It's not all about you, bitch. It's, it's literally about y'all. It'll be about y'all. Let this motherfucker handle what they handle, bro. And for any cross watches, bro, um, as far as the good cross watches, bro, good luck, bro. You feel me? Because the collective is still going to be moving forward either way, bro. Just give it a day, bro. 
Like, just like y'all, nigga, the other person that's out, bro, you can easily miss out, too. So, I hope you got a plan, boo-boo, or say, sir. Uh, y'all have a good-ass evening, though. I love y'all so much. Peace.